You're doing this for thrill-seeking, but when you get a thrill of that magnitude, which could potentially be fatal, uh, I would imagine the pleasure factor diminishes quite quickly, doesn't it? Oh, well, I mean, it's, I still enjoy doing it. I like doing, I mean, it's everything fun about it. Like, you can't beat it, but uh, there's definitely a learning curve to it, as I learned there. Like, there's a lot to it other than just go try to tear up everything you can see. What is the psyche of snowmobilers when there's so much snow around, the conditions are pretty, pretty scary? What makes you guys go out there and, and risk death? Well, not, not, not every day is like that, obviously, but uh, it's, um, it's just a whole other world. You're just by yourself. I mean, uh, it's just you and the machine, and you're trying everything not to get stuck and just keep, keep your thrill way up. So when this avalanche of snow smashed on top of you, as we see there, with an almighty thump, what, did, you, did you think you were going to survive it? What, what, what happens to you in your head? Well, like, um, I seen a little bit of a, like what I thought was a rooster from another snowmobile. Basically, I thought a friend was up above the trees that I was, that I was trying to go through. And I thought his track had just thrown a rooster in my face, so I kind of braced for it. And, uh, like, clearly I was just, I mean, completely taken away. And I didn't even know it was an avalanche until I came to a, a stop and looked behind me and seen that there all the snow that had gone. And then my snowmobile was upside down and covered up. But uh, I, I wasn't really scared or anything until I turned around and seen that it was an avalanche and realized that my friend that I thought was up above me was probably buried. So in the video, you can see me like uh, waving my arms up and down to my friends down below because I, uh, I was in a little bit of a panic to go find my friend that I thought was buried at the time. And uh, you can see it when I stand up on the snowmobile, I actually, I'm sitting there waving my hands and then I point and then that's when I seen him. And then I knew that like, we just got extremely, extremely lucky.